Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Canfield High School. It is a Wednesday night. A lot of schools closed in the area, but basketball still being played. The Canfield Cardinals at 8-5, and five, playing host to the 6-7 and seven Warren G. Harding Raiders in this AAC showdown. Good evening, everybody. My name is Noah Ricks, giving you the play-by-play -play commentary for tonight's game. This game being brought to you by the Lynx at Firestone Farms. And the Canfield Cardinals currently on a two-game winning streak. Most recent win was out in the tournament against Chippewa on Saturday at the Berkshire Hoop Fest tournaments, 43 to 31. And the Cardinals, defending district champions, looking to make that statement and repeat as district champions as well as win their third consecutive conference championship. But they are only one and two in AAC and trying to get to 500 with this win in conference play. Good evening, the Canfield Board of Education, Superintendent, Principals, and Director of Athletics. Welcome everyone here to the James W. Watkins Gymnasium for this evening's basketball meeting. Canfield High School is pleased to host this contest between our hometown Lady Cardinals and the Lady Raiders of Warren G. Harding High School. Both schools here tonight are members of the Ohio High School Athletic Association and All-American Conference and abide by those organizations' high standards of conduct, competition, and relations with member schools. The athletes participating in this game are friendly rivals. While play tonight will be fiercely contested, all in attendance are reminded that this is a sporting event between young women and that sporting behavior is expected from all involved. The officials assigned to this game have been assigned according to the procedures adopted by the OHSAA. They are Patrick Montana, Gerald Fordham, and Wayne Penny. Everyone is now asked to please stand and for men to remove their hats as we honor our country with the playing of our national anthem. Starting lineups for tonight's game, beginning with the lineup for the Warren G. Harding Lady Raiders. Next up, a sophomore, number two, Trinity Taylor. A sophomore, number three, Akila Barnes. A sophomore, number ten, Talia Provis. A freshman, number fourteen, Azaria Phillips. Sophomore, number 34, Nadia McQueen. The head coach of the Lady Raiders is Frank Caputo. And now the starting lineup for the Canfield Lady Cardinals. A 5'7 senior, number zero, Grace McQuiston. A 5'10 senior, number four, Cammy Gill. 5'7 sophomore, number 11, Jenna Dribberry. A 5'3 sophomore, number 22, Carly Fleming. And a 5'10 senior, number
number 54, Tammy Briggs. The head coach of the Campfield Lady Cardinals is Matt Real. So Canfield actually canceled school today, but the coaches want this game to go on. Everybody in this gym want this game to go on. And the conditions are fair enough that everyone can come out and witness some Wednesday night basketball. And we just want to remind you that this broadcast is copyrighted by Yokely Scott Corporation LLC for the private use of our audience and the use of this broadcast from any pictures, descriptions, or other accounts of the game without Yokely Scott Corporation's consent is prohibited. Off we go. As it's the tip and the Cardinals control. So here comes Camley Dill taking it at the point, the senior. And a good pass to Jenna Treveri. And now inside a Cami Ritz for an easy two points to start off tonight's contest. Cami Ritz, the forward, found that open look and got it over the defender. And two nothing cards already over 20 seconds into this contest. Number 14, Azaria Phillips, a high post for Warren Harding. And now gives it off to Trinity Taylor. Almost lost the basketball there. That was Akila Barnes. And the Raiders losing four of five after starting the year five and three, and that misses for Trinity Taylor. So the Cardinals taking it back with Dill. Now Jenna Terreri, she's a hot three-point shooter, but misses that one too strong. Rebound by Nadia McQueen. Transition game coming for Warren Harding, and an easy two for Trinity Taylor. So both teams exchanging two points. Just over a minute gone by here in this first quarter. First two points for Warren Harding belong to Trinity Taylor. A lot of young talent on this Harding team. But here comes Carly Fleming, passes it to the corner. Grace McQuistian and misses that too strong. So Canfield missing two three-pointers off the bat. A team that usually finds its hot hand. But now can be dealt to inbound. Last touch by Warren Harding. Almost picked off, and it is picked off by Nadia McQueen. Warren Harding taking it back now. Azaria Phillips at top. The fake there by Taylor. Now McQueen. And she puts it up. That's no good. An offensive rebound by Akila Barnes. And Warren Harding on top. As two points for Barnes. Now Canfield playing from behind and puts up the shot. Cami Ritz bounces off. So another missed field goal. That's now the third consecutive straight missed field goal for Canfield. Harding taking it the other way. Now Taylor gets the pass off to Barnes. Now it's Jalea Provit. Pass off to the left wing. Taylor drives, but ball movement quickly by Canfield. Azaria Phillips puts up her shot and bounces in. The nice, friendly bounce for Azaria Phillips. As we mentioned, young talent for Warren Harding, but the young freshman Phillips gets it in. Cammie Ritz takes a three, and that swivels in for Ritz. The forward hitting it from downtown. She now has the team's first five points. Six to five. Just two and a half minutes gone by here in this opening quarter. Now Harding. Just holding up to the basketball is Barnes, but she loses it and picked off by Jenna Treveri. Trying to feed it to Cammie Dill. Loose ball on the ground. Carly Fleming picks it up, and now Dill will drive. Feeds it to Jenna Treveri. She gets fouled, so Treveri going to head to the line. And this will be our first trip to the line here. Brought to you by Giangelo's Pizzeria, Italian restaurant and bar. First foul on Nadia McQueen for Warren Harding. The sophomore picking up the game's first foul. And that goes in to tie it up at six. First foul shot for Jenna Treveri as she's on the board for Canfield. Two of two. And now Canfield retaking the lead at seven to six. Just like that, it's five quick points here by the Canfield Cardinals. And looks like we'll have a walk by Trinity Taylor trying to get it past the backcourt. But Canfield with momentum now. Treveri to inbound off the turnover. 
Pass to Trefferi, and now they get it off to McQuistian. McQuistian drives, but kicks it out to Ritz, who feeds it to Fleming. Takes a three-point shot, that is Trevery. Too strong there. And Cammy Dill picks up that offensive rebound. And back out we go, as it's Ritz. Coaching staff for Canfield yelling to keep moving. And that's what the Cardinals will do. Feed it here. And finds that open girl, that is Jenna Trevery. She now has four points. And a four quick points as the Cardinals take a nine to six lead. And now Phillips taking it for Warren Harding. And here comes the three point shot. And it's in for Trinity Taylor. All knotted up at nine as Taylor now has five. So both teams exchanging a three pointer. And now Grace McQuistian at the corner being guarded by Jalea Provit. Fleming bounce pass here to Dill. Dill gives it off to Draveri. And now Fleming. Good ball movement by the Cardinals again. Here comes the shot by McQuistian, and that bounces off. Rebound by Taylor, and it looks like that will head towards Warren Harding. 3.43 to go in this first quarter. The push will be called on Jenna Traveri, her first foul. And a very exciting, fast-paced first quarter. Both teams just really finding their way in that basket. Not it up at nine, and 18 combined points so far. And Warren Harding taking it on offense. Probe it, long pass out, and now at high post, here comes Nadia McQueen. That was tipped, no foul, but she gets it right back. And now Nadia McQueen gets it in for two, as Warren Harding retakes the lead at 11 to nine. Now at the corner, guys, Maria Koenig for Canfield. Macy Kalina also in the ball game, number 15. Here comes the shot by Dill, and Dill, that nice friendly swivel in, as it's Cammy Dill on the board for Canfield. Driving is Phillips. She backs out of it. Now she gives the pass off to McQueen. McQueen finds her open girl, and now Trinity Taylor takes another three, and Trinity Taylor hits another three. Trinity Taylor in this first quarter now has eight points as Warren Harding takes a 14 to 11 lead, just over two and a half minutes remaining in this first quarter. And now Kimmy Ritz takes it from downtown and that is the nice friendly bounce in for Ritz. So now Ritz has eight. And both teams just really piling up the scoring sheet and that bounces off for three, but it's going to stay with Warren Harding. 28 combined points in a very offensive, explosive first quarter. It's now number 24 to inbound for Warren Harding. Zoe Jenkins checking in, but it looks like she walks it. That was number 10, Jalea Provit. And the sophomore will commit that violation. Now Canfield has a chance to now put momentum back on their side. As Everyone just exchanging buckets, and now Cammy Dill takes it, and Cammy Dill hits. That's now Cammy Dill firing from downtown. She now has five points and 204, and a 30 second timeout. As it is 17 to 14, Canfield on top of Warren Harding. So now Canfield has three three-pointers in his opening quarter. Harding has two from Trinity Taylor. And it's been very, just like, everyone just scoring on offense on both sides. And this is a Canfield team that is fresh off two straight victories. Last week at Hallen, especially in the second half, they were able to just get that hot hand and connect on their shots all day long. Playing with the likes of Hallen and Chippewa, to say the least. And just under two minutes to go in this first quarter, Warren Harding takes it down 17 to 14. They're taking their time here. Here comes Phillips. And 
Phillips far out being guarded by Carly Fleming. But it looks like a double dribble going to be called on Phillips as she was trying to multitask a little bit between trying to find an open girl and trying to get off of Fleming. And that's what you have to do here in basketball, just trying to find ways to just have that constant, constant peripheral vision. And the pass here to Jenna Treveri. Once again, Canfield running their offense, but it's picked off your good takeaway by Julia Provet, but it's now Azaria Phillips with the basketball. Zoe Jenkins takes it from down deep in. No good, an offensive rebound though, almost by Akila Barnes. And she couldn't hold on to it, still in play. But it looks like Carly Fleming trying to get it off of Warren Harding's leg, but unsuccessful there. So Harding will maintain possession as Ritz seven back in. And Macy Kalina will take a seat for the cards. This is now Taylor to inbound. And Jenkins now to Phillips. And once again, out deep. The fake there feeds it here to Akilah Barnes, but it looks like Barnes will walk. As with 109 to go in this first quarter, Canfield will regain possession off of this Harding turnover. A very fast paced first quarter with just two combined fouls, one each on both sides. Aline Barakat for the Cardinals, takes the drive and kicks it out to a wide open Jenna Treveri, who fires away but doesn't hit the three and a rebound by Akilah Barnes, but she loses it again, but picked right back up by Jalea Provit. Now Zoe Jenkins receives the pass from Phillips, back to Phillips, who feeds it inside and tipped there. Barnes misses thanks to Cami Ritz on that block. And now Canfield driving 30 seconds and counting here in this first quarter. Swat away, but picked right back up by Marina Koenig. And once again, it's a juggle for the basketball. But out of bounds, going back here to Canfield. And with a chance to reset, Haley Brown checking in for Warren Harding. Treveri inbounds it here to Ritz. Back to Treveri. Once again, the pickle. And the floater is up and in by Jenna Treveri. And Jenna Treveri now with six points and Warren Harding under 15 seconds to shoot. And now the clock is under 10. They'll play for this last shot, trailing by five. And now Zoe Jenkins will have to drive. They have to find an open girl and she puts it up, but it's off. So end of one, a very high scoring first quarter, 33 of combined points. Canfield 19, Warren Harding 14. You are watching YS. Start in the second quarter here. It was a very high scoring first quarter, as we mentioned before the break, 33 combined points. Canfield having 19, Warren Harding having 14. And both teams exchanging leads there on out in the first quarter, but Canfield was able to end that first quarter strong. As they will play defense to start the second quarter. Azaria Phillips now for Warren Harding. Takes it and trying to find number three, Akilah Barnes, but Akilah Barnes once again has that ball foul out of her hands. The hand-eye coordination not up to par so far, but now Warren Harding having to play defense as Jenna Treveri takes it, scoops it off to Grace McQuistian. Canfield really weren't running this offense perfectly. And Cammie Dale takes it, and a nice finish by Cammie Dale. As two more for Dill, who now has seven points. The senior leading the charge. But here comes Warren Harding. As the pass here at high post, and wasn't paying attention there, and a blocking foul gonna be called. And it looks like a substitution will come here for Warren Harding. Provit will be called with that foul for Harding. But it's now number four, Simone Pitts, checking in for the Raiders as Provit will take a seat after having picked up that foul. So only two fouls in that first quarter. Both teams picking up a foul apiece. But now Canfield takes it back. Once again, motioning around. Cammie Dill 
score on that last possession. And she takes it again. She misses, though, and picked right back up by Dill. Good hustle by Dill. And Jenna Treveri trying to drive, and the push will be called on Trinity Taylor. So Canfield, the foul will be on the floor as that will be the first picked up by Taylor. Finds an open girl on the inbound pass and now Grace McQuistian fires away. It touched the rim but bounces off and goes out of bounds. Going back here to the Raiders off that missed shot. But now trailing 21 to 14, just over a minute gone by here in the second quarter. Warren Harding taking it back on offense. Starting five and three, but as mentioned, losing four of five in this stretch. Here comes the three-point shot by Trinity Taylor. It bounced off the rim, but an offensive rebound by Nadia McQueen as a jump ball will be called and going back here to the Cardinals. But let's go back here to Warren Harding. Losing to Boardman the other night, 64 to 46. And now Canfield taking the basketball. Good drive by Treveri, puts it up, bounces off for Treveri, but she gets it right back with another jump ball we called. And this time it's going back to Harding. So on the opposite side of the floor for both teams, they're able to win jump balls. It's now Phillips for Harding. Screen set by McQueen. And it looks like she draws the foul. And that will be the blocking foul called on Treveri, her second. Marina Koenig now going to check in for Jenna Treveri. Marina Koenig will play here for the Cardinals, checking in again. Now they feed it now to Phillips. Phillips takes the drive, and that bounces off again. But it's saved by Akilah Barnes and Warren Harding back on offense. Here comes the take by McQueen, and McQueen once again with a nice finish. Nadia McQueen with four points, and the post girl doing the work again as Canfield will drive now. And they kick it here to McQuistian. McQuistian loses it for a second and trying to save it. I believe it was Akilah Barnes. So Barnes trying to save and trying to get the turnover, but a lucky break for Canfield. As it's now, Macy Kalina inbounding. Kalina receives it back, now Koenig. It's Ritz now. And once again, Warren Harding playing pesky defense. This is now Phillips. Losing it was Nadia McQueen, wasn't paying attention to that pass. But they get it right back. Fake by Taylor, good fake. And she takes a shot from the elbow, and that's short. The air ball did touch the net. But going out of bounds, and now Canfield back at it. So Canfield in that opening quarter, they were able to connect on three three-pointers. Two by Cami Ritz and one by Cami Dill. And here comes Dill, taking it on offense for Canfield. Now to Ritz. Ritz open for three. Kabam! That is Cami Ritz now with 11 points. And that is now three three-pointers for Cami Ritz in this first half. 24 to 16, largest lead for Canfield at eight, with just over four and a half minutes remaining in this first half. And falling on the ground were two Raiders and two Cardinals. A jump ball gonna be called and being won by Canfield. So both teams getting scrappy and getting down on the floor as they need to do. Both trying to come out victorious in those 50-50 balls. Now Ritz at high post. Now Macy Kalina takes it, and Macy Kalina fires from downtown and hits. That is Kalina. Now of her first three points of the night, 27 to 16, as Canfield on top by 11. And pass to Barnes, and stolen away by Koenig. Here comes transition game. Carly Fleming finishes at the rack. Now Canfield on this hot run. As it's Fleming 
Now with her first two points. That's now an 8-0 run for the Cardinals. Halfway through this second quarter, under four minutes remaining. And now the pass at the right wing. Trying to find the girl, but a bad pass and picked off by Ritz. Dill pushes it out, and Carly Fleming tried to receive the pass, but jumping in at the last second was a defender for Warren Harding. And now Harding falling behind in this deficit. They trail by 13 now at 29 to 16. And Canfield hitting two three-pointers in the second quarter. And now five overall for the first half. Dill to inbound. As Canfield playing very fundamentally sound basketball in this second quarter. Macy Kalina now to Dill. Dill driving, trying to avoid the travel, but unfortunately Dill will be called for that walk. And Jenna Traveri and Aline Barakat checking back in for Canfield. It's still Canfield's game, especially in this second quarter, outscoring the Raiders 10 to two in this period. Here comes the pass to Trinity Taylor for Warren Harding. And now to Akila Barnes, she's open, tried to fake her out of her shoes, but a little too much as she will be called for the walk. And McQuishton checking back in for Canfield as she will inbound. Dill will take a well-deserved trip to the bench. Cammie Dill now with seven points and Cammie Ritz with 11. It's this well-rounded Canfield team that is just doing their work on this Warren Harding Raider team. Pass to Jenna Traveri. Now Barricat back here to Traveri. Traveri couldn't finish, too strong, but an offensive rebound by McQuistian. And good hustle by Traveri. She misses that one as well. And Aline Barricat finishes in the glass. And Barricat took advantage of Warren Harding not boxing out. And Frank Caputo wants a timeout, understandably so. 2.48 to go in this first half. Canfield 31. Back here in this second quarter, Canfield now on a 12-2 run of Warren Harding, including the last 10 points. 31-16 is your score. The Cardinals hitting five shots from downtown, seven hits inside the arc, as well as, as, well as two of two from the free throw line. But here comes Warren Harding trying to get momentum on their side, falling behind by 15 now, just under 240 to go in this first half. Here comes the drive, and now they kick it back out. Trinity Taylor trying to ball handle. Zoe Jenkins at the elbow, around the elbow. And it's now Phillips. She puts up her shot, and too strong, too high, and taken by Kalina, who feeds it to Dill, checking back into the game for Canfield. Dill. Swings it out. Now back here to Dill. And Canfield moving around a lot here in this first half. Barricat, who scored on the last possession. They feed it here a little too high to handle for Grace McQuistion. Has a miscommunication there between the passer and the receiver. But now Nadia McQueen checking back in for Warren Harding. And Camby Ritz as well checking in. So both teams going with a little taller lineup. Both teams trying to get the forwards that they need and trying to get their forwards to do the work. Pass here at the top with a key. And now it's Taylor. Warren Harding. Driving down the lane, here comes Trinity Taylor. Misses that one. And rebound by Grace McQuistion. Just over a minute and a half remaining in this first half, and Canfield takes it back. Dill feeds it to Ritz, and Ritz with a nice hook shot, as it's now Ritz with 13 points. Ritz is on fire, as that is her second two. And it's now a 33 to 16 game. The Cardinals leading by 17. Phillips back here to Taylor. And now it's Haley Brown at the corner. Nadia McQueen going to finish there off of Ritz. And now here comes Taylor. A nice flutter is in. So Ward Harding ending what was a 12-0 run thanks to that little floater by Taylor. She now has 10. And they kick it out. It's still to Ritz. 
feeds it to Kalina. And Christian to Koenig. It's still trying to work off of Phillips. And a three-point shot by Koenig is up and out. An offensive rebound by Dill and Dill. The nice bounce. It's Cammy Dill for two. And that is now nine points for the senior. Under 30 seconds to shoot for Warren Harding. Once again, down by 17. Taylor thinking about the three, but feeds it to Brown, who fires away and doesn't hit it. Rebound by Dill, and just over 10 seconds to shoot now. It's now under 10 seconds. And Dill, a good pass, and it's up and out. Rebound by McQueen now. The clock's at 2.4 seconds, and it rolls out of bounds, going to Warren Harding. So they have a chance to set up this play trying to find their open girl. Can probably get it to maybe around half court if you can, but trying to find McQueen. McQueen puts it up, and that was a good style of play, but not enough time to get that shot off. So, end of the first half. It was a dominant second quarter by Canfield, outscoring the Raiders 16 to four. It is Canfield 35, Warren Harding, 18. You are watching YSN, and we'll be back. Start of the second half here from Canfield High School. The Canfield Cardinals, no school today, but playing basketball, the game that they love. They are leading the Warren Harding Raiders by 17, 35 to 18. That was a dominant, explosive second quarter by the Cards. They are able to outscore the Raiders in that period, 16 to four. And despite a very competitive first quarter from Warren Harding, just four points in that second period and looking to get back to their ways. And Canfield, just a team that has been frustrating for Warren Harding in the past few years. Last year, the Cardinals beat the Raiders by an average of 28 points a game including a combined score of 122 to 64. They feed it to Nadia McQueen for Warren Harding. She misses that layup and a rebound by Cami Ritz and Canfield with their first possession of the second half and finds Carly Fleming in transition as it's now 37 to 18 and now Fleming with four. Drive and now the good ball movement. Zoe Jenkins for Warren Harding. Phillips. Getting off of her defender, misses that shot, an offensive rebound by McQueen, and McQueen is going to head to the free throw line. Ward Harding did not have any trips to the line in that first half, but the first one now coming as McQueen draws the first foul on Cami Ritz. The shot's up, the shot is out. So now nothing going right for Warren Harding. Now they miss a foul shot. Anything that can get them back in this ball game. But that second shot goes in. So now McQueen now has five. As Warren Harding now has 19 on the board. But Canfield still leading by 18. Now the drive by Grace McQuistian. Just under a minute gone by in this third quarter. And Treveri loses it. Picked off by Phillips. And Phillips... Feeds it to Trinity Taylor, that's a two. Bounces off, and a fight for it. Ritz saving it for Canfield. It's the long pass out to Tavari, and once again, another turnover. This time, it's Akila Barnes with a takeaway. And the Canfield coaching staff just wants to focus on Canfield getting nice, consistent passes, and turnover picked off by Fleming, and Fleming will draw herself to the line. So now Canfield taking their second trip to the line tonight. First for Fleming, who has four. And Azaria Phillips gonna be called with her first personal. Canfield had a well-balanced attack, being led by what is now 15 points from Cammie Ritz. Up. 
That's it. So that's now six points for Clar Carly Fleming, as it's now a 20-point lead for Canfield. Zoe Jenkins feeds it here, and now the put-up by Nadia McQueen, it goes out. But once again, McQueen drawing herself to the line. So two more shots coming up for the sophomore, Nadia McQueen, and Ritz already picking up her second foul in this third quarter. So consistent trips to the foul line. The game really slowed down, and the shot's up. That's it. 39 to 20 now, your score, as it's now six points for McQueen. And that bounces off. So Camfield with the rebound. It's still taking it, feeds it. And now it's Traveri. And another turnover. Harding, once again, the ball hawks. And here comes Jenkins and sails over the head of Akila Barnes. It's now Marina Koenig checking in for Canfield. And the Canfield Cardinals still on this spurt. And a drive here by Koenig. Fleming, they just want to hold on to the basketball. Just over two minutes gone by here in this third quarter. Trying to push off the defender. And now Cammy Ritz takes the three. Too strong. Offensive rebound by Dill. And Dill using her post moves. It's now Cammy Dill with 11 points. And Camfield on top by 21. As it's once again the Cardinals in dominant fashion. And Dill taking it right back, stealing it for Canfield. Grace McQuishan receives it, and now Carly Fleming, no foul by McQueen, and out of bounds, last touch by Fleming, they're going to say. And Macy Kalina and Jenna Traveri subbing in for the Canfield Cardinals. So the Cardinals playing back on defense. And the drive by Jenkins feeds it to McQueen, and McQueen finished. Nadia McQueen again with eight points now, and timeout on the floor. And Canfield takes a 30-second timeout, and we ourselves will be back. In what can you do on over 5,000 acres? At Mill Creek Metro Parks, you can discover unique habitats and wildlife, create memorable family moments, experience history, heritage, and park programs. Explore scenic landscapes. Take time to relax and be well. Connect with nature and each other. Come see what's new at Mill Creek Metro Parks. Plan your trip now at millcreekmetroparks.org. So the timeout called by Coach Matt Reel. Trying to find a way to shut down Nanya McQueen. The sophomore forward now has eight points. But Canfield will take it back on offense. And now with Jenner Traveri taking it for the Cardinals. She has six. It's now Koenig. Gives it off to Ritz. It's Ritz going to travel. And now Koenig receives the pass. Kicks it out and a swing to Aline Barakat. Barakat with the drive. Has to get out of the paint. Almost lost the basketball. Back here to Barricat. It's not the best looking offense out there as it was in the first half. But Canfield trying to run it as best as they can. But losing the basketball is Macy Colina. I gotta pay attention here to Warren Harding. Even though they're down by 19 points, they want to play spoiler yet again. I saw them back in a tournament out at Hallen where they were able to put on some furious rallies, including a finish rally against Champion, where they won 54 to 51. And here comes the take by Zoe Jenkins. So it looks like the rally is starting now as Zoe Jenkins has her first two. And the shot there is up and well off the mark. Rebound for Akila Barnes. Under four minutes remaining in the third quarter. And now Jenkins. Pass 
here to Barnes. Now back to Jenkins. And now it's Simone Pitts. Hasn't been playing a lot tonight, but she feeds it out. Trinity Taylor bounces off. And good save, almost. But Keila Barnes loses the basketball out of bounds. And Grace McQuishan and Carly Fleming checking back in for Canfield. So Canfield at least having a sigh of relief for the time being. 3.36 to go in the third quarter. And they still lead by 17. And Javeri feeds it here to McQuishan. Once again, the ball movement. Coach Rio wants consistent movement. The drive by Dill. Puts it up and in. It's Cammy Dill now with 13 points. And five twos. 19 point lead again for Canfield. Warren Harding taking it. It's now Taylor. And loose ball falling on the ground for both Barnes and Treveri. And Treveri will win that jump ball for Canfield. So Canfield now. Keeping the consistent offense, keeping that kind of clock rolling. And they want to keep that clock rolling because the game now, just under 11 minutes to go in action with this huge lead. They don't want this lead to slip out of their hands. Now the screen set by Treveri. It still feeds it to Treveri. Working off of Jenkins. It's Ritz at the left wing. Once again, Ward Harding playing up in personal, and it looks like that is Zoe Jenkins going to be called with the foul. Jenkins will be called with her first personal. Coach Capito, a little animated on that bench for Ward Harding. And they inbound it here. It's Cammie Dill trying to drive and feeds it back out. Javeri and last touched by McQueen as Canfield has a chance to reset now. 2.31 to go in the third quarter. And now Dilda inbound. The pass here to Ritz. And still, she takes a three. And bam! It's Cammie Dill. Now with her second three-pointer, 16 points, leading all scorers. And Warren Harding Trying to hold on to the basketball, trailing by 22, and Aline Barricat almost got the steal, and she gets the steal for Canfield, but losing it out of bounds was Fleming. In this very fast-paced game, it's really easy to get flustered and confused about what's going on out there. Trying to keep your concentration up every single minute. 2.07 now to go in this third quarter. 46 to 24, the Canfield Cardinals lead on top of Warren Harding. Almost got it off to McQueen, but Ritz right there for the steal, and a steal here by Brown for Warren Harding. Brown puts up her three-pointer. No good. Rebound by Ritz again. Now Fleming in the half court. Now at the left wing, it's Ritz. They feed it here. And now Ritz takes it, and Ritz finishes with the hook. The Canfield two is in. Make it now 15 points for Cammie Ritz. Warren Harding taking it now. Here comes the three-pointer by Haley Brown. Short, and rebound by McQuistian. Warren Harding trying to pump up the spirits in this gym. Just over a minute remaining in the third. It's a 24 point lead for the Canfield Cardinals. They lead 48 to 24. They find her and now back out to Ritz. Ritz misses that three. And rebound by Phillips. They back off and they'll play defense. Warren Harding in a bigger deficit now as Taylor puts it up. Taylor, that bounces off and last touch by a Canfield Cardinal. Once again, the tip drill being won by Warren Harding. But now McQueen and Brown will take a seat. 
They inbound it here to number two, Trinity Taylor. And Taylor gets it in. That's now 12 points for Taylor. And now just over 30 seconds to shoot. A voice to travel. Now, Sofia Castronova in the game number three for Canfield. Lead it down to Dill. And Dill feeds it to Castronova. No foul as Jenkins right there. It's now number 14, Azaria Phillips. And three pointer is up and out. Offensive rebound almost. Going to stay with Warren Harding. Under 10 seconds to shoot, 8.4 seconds officially on this third quarter clock. Now they inbound it to Phillips. And a turnover by McQuistian. And now Canfield, three seconds to shoot. Now to one. She puts it up. The coach yelling out the clock, as he should be. But Canfield, once again, another strong quarter by them. They lead Ward Harding 48 to 26 at the end of three. Just about ready to get underway here on YSN Live from Canfield High School. The Cardinals. Outscoring the Raiders again in the quarter, 13-8 in that third quarter. They now lead Warren Harding 48-26. to Warren Harding inbounds it to start this period. Trinity Taylor takes a three-point shot, bounces off. It was a bank taken by Cami Ritz. Once again, Warren Harding playing fiscal and aggressive. And it's still now for Canfield. Now to Traveri. They pass here to drive by Traveri. And good skip pass to Ritz. Ritz dominating along the way for Canfield. 50 to 26 is your score. Pass at the top of the key. Now at the left wing, it's Phillips. Drive down the lane. And good pass out to Hannah Brown, number 13. Is Zoe Jenkins losing it for a second, but she gets it right back. Picked up by Phillips over the defender and short. It's still with the basketball for Canefield. And Carly Fleming trying to find an open Grace McQuishan, a little too high for McQuishan. It was a little too high of a pass as well, but Canfield getting it back and Dill misses that shot. Offensive rebound by McQuishan, and once again, these shots just falling out. So. Second and third chance points. Coach Matt Real trying to pump up his squad for Canfield, but Warren Harding back on offense. The missed shot by Trinity Taylor. Rebound by Dill. It's Ritz with it. Now at the left wing, McQuistion to the corner. It's Carly Fleming. Carly Fleming able to draw that foul. So you're seeing a game where not a lot of fouls have been called. Both teams only having two trips to the foul line tonight. Just under two minutes gone by here in this final quarter. Canfield on top by 24. It's Ritz trying to feed it to McQuistion, losing it out of bounds, but last touched by Akila Barnes. Up and personal. And Camfield taking it back. The drive by Dill. It's up and scoops it to go. Cammy Dill with another finish. She now has 18 for the Canfield Cardinals. The senior getting it to go. Now Warren Harding. Defeated to Zoe Jenkins. Jenkins trying to work off of Dill. Jenkins again, she takes that shot from about 16, and it's no good. And Dill pushes it to McQuistion, foul and count it. First two points of the night for Grace McQuistion. And that will include a three-point play. So now 54 to 26 is your score. As substitutions coming in. And McQuistion brings the game up to a 28-point lead. So Warren Harding was hoping to get their first win in the AAC tonight. 0-3 in the conference to start. 
And that foul shot goes out. Gainfield trying to go to 500 in the AAC, one and two right now. It would be their second consecutive conference victory. In the past year two, Nadia McQueen now out to Zoe Jenkins. Loses it and picked off by McQuishan. Once again, hard defense by Warren Harding, but Canfield not budging. The drive by McQuishan and she scoops it in. It's now a 30 point game for Canfield as that is now four quick points by Grace McQuishan. The senior finding her rhythm in this fourth quarter. It's Warren Harding with the basketball. And Barnes feeds it off to Jenkins. Jenkins has been getting the ball a lot as of late, but losing it is Barnes, but Barnes will get fouled here. The pushing foul will be called on Aline Barricat. Looks like Taylor checking in for Jenkins. It's Phillips to inbound for Harding. Barnes now at the corner. And she backs off. Taylor at top. Phillips spinning around. And it's Simone Pitts. Simone Pitts almost lost it. Taken back by Taylor. The drive now, that short rebound Barricat. And she holds on to that basketball, just like a football player. And that is tipped there. And the steal by Phillips. And a quick push in. Trying to catch that basketball was Taylor, but once again, a miscue here on Warren Harding. So it looks like if nothing crazy happens here, Warren Harding will drop to six and eight, losing what would be five of six, as they will now have a two-game homestand. Now the pass here to Koenig. Drive by Kalina. And the pass to Barricat. It's Kalina again, and now at the corner. Driving here is Sofia Castronova. She misses there. And now the rebound picked up by Taylor. Taylor backing off. She fires and off. Bearcat with the rebound, just over three minutes remaining in this game. And Canfield on the verge of improving to nine and five on the year. And it looks like a jump ball will be called. Going back here to the Cardinals, who will hit the road on Saturday when they travel out to Bourbon. They lost to the Spartans back on January 3rd, 46 to 41. But as for Warren Harding, their next game will be on Saturday when they play host to Austin Town Fitch. And excuse me, that's actually a three game homestand, not a two game homestand. They got Fitch, Halland, and Maslin upcoming. It looks like drawing the foul here on Trinity Taylor. But Warren Harding last played Fitch on January 3rd, losing 51 to 16. Koenig. And picked off once again by Phillips. She's been getting a lot of steals here tonight. And Phillips. Puts it up, and Phillips scoops it to go. Points off of turnovers for Zaria Phillips. That's now four for her. In the drive, just under two and a half to go. And Sammy Economist misses that one, number 10. And now Warren Harding. Rebound by number 32, Dynasty Brown. Simone Pitts. Some reserves coming in. In these final two minutes of action, Simone Pitts fires and hits. So Pitts brings the game up to 30 for Harding. But Castronova now the passing economist. 
And out the corner, it's Koenig. At the left wing, it's Kalina with the drive. Pushes it to Barakat, and Barakat fires from downtown. Aline Barakat, that is clam for her, as that is now five points. The junior with a nice splash from downtown. And just over a minute and a half remaining, Canfield sending in some younger girls. And fighting for it is number 21, Jenna Havrilla. But now it looks like the younger reserves in for the final minute and a half. Picked off, Loriona Janoni with that takeaway. Castronova. Let's see what this JV squad can do. But it's a pickoff by Simone Pitts. Pitts drawing the foul. Looks like two shots coming up for Pitts. So now Canfield back on top by 29, but Pitts will draw the foul on Havrilla. And Havrilla, the young sophomore, will pick up her first foul coming in off the bench. She's at the line. Shooting two. Shooting two. That bounces off, and what has been a frustrating night for Warren Harding from the line now, two of seven. But that's in. That was actually two of five to start, but now it's three of six, so beg your pardon there. It's 59 to 31, your score. And Canfield trying to get some younger girls on the board. It's Havrilla, now Giannone. Puts it up, draws the foul. And drawn the foul on number four, Simone Pitts. Janone shooting two for Canfield. 57.2 seconds remaining in this game. And now Canfield eclipses 60 with that foul shot. That is now just their second 60 point game this year. Opening night, they beat Struther 65 to 16. But that's now two of two for Loriona Janone. Loriona Janone, the young sophomore, ranks it up to a 30 point game. Now Hannah Brown, the pass to Julia Probit. Probit with a hook and Probit with a finish. So Warren Harding at least scoring to end this basketball game. That's now the first two for Probit. And the drive, Iconomist. Good pass out to Havrilla. Almost lost it there. And Economist back at it. Under 30 seconds. Now they find Janone. And fake there by number 41, CeCe McElroy. Looks like Canfield will just hold on to the basketball for the final 10 seconds of action. And the Canfield Cardinals now winning their third straight with a 61 to 33 victory over the Warren Harding Raiders. Nine and five on the year. And they will now set their sights for a rematch with Borman on Saturday. And a rematch as well for Warren Harding as they will welcome in Austin Town Fitch on Saturday, 6.30 p.m. tip. But Warren Harding now dropping to 0-4 in AAC play. Canfield doing what they need to do, winning two consecutive conference games and going to 500 in the AAC. And it all come down to the Boardman game on Saturday. Last time we checked, Boardman was playing Halland. But it will be a game for the ages. As for Warren Harding, they will look now, dropping five of six, and looking to split with the Fitch Falcons. 
Noah Ricks on YSF, we like to think. DJ Oakley, Brian Scott, Chris Sigler, and Steve Leslie, where everything that they do, and stories, stats, and more will always be found on YSNlive.com. This is Noah Ricks signing off. Final score, the Canfield Cardinals 61, the Warren Harding Raiders 33. This has been another presentation of your sports network. YSN thanks you for watching this presentation of your sports network. For stories, stats, and more, go to YSN Live.